came back to like earlier this year. Uh, I just got runner up in a tournament for Warriors Woods. That was a ton of fun. Um, but yeah, I was I really liked block puzzle games as a kid, and I uh, I gravitated toward games I really liked when I was thinking about what to speed run. Um, but then I picked up Super Mario RPG. This is actually a funny story. I picked up Super Mario RPG due to a weird set of circumstances. I was working an internship at the time. Uh, this was, I think, 2000, late 2010 or early 2011. Romscout was doing um, Super Mario RPG speedrun streams on Ustream. And um, this was the first regular stream by an individual that I was really captivated by. And I, like, I watched his stream every single time. I was like, I waited uh, with much anticipation for the next Romscout Super Mario RPG stream. And I wasn't really thinking about picking it up myself until um, he submitted a run for verification and I signed up to verify and then by coincidence I actually came down with vertigo and was out of work for a week or out of the internship for a week uh, so I was home and I like couldn't do anything I was just in bed and I was feeling miserable and um, weirdly enough I really couldn't do anything except I could go on the computer and being on the computer actually lessens the pain from vertigo like the vision pain from that it lessened it a little bit so it was most comfortable comfortable for me to be on the computer and um i put a ton of time into verifying his run i like looked into the route the strategies um i basically learned the theory behind the route of the game and at that point i was like heck i might as well just pick this up and run it and so uh, I went to like a spiny and I practiced super jumps and I was able to do a hundred super jumps in about two hours. I remember that. And then I just went ahead and learned the rest of the game and I took it pretty far. I ended up getting world record in that like 2012. And, um, so that ended up being one of the games I ran in my first GDQ. So that was, that's the story behind super Mario RPG. Um, I mentioned Kirby's avalanche. I'd ran that earlier. Mega Man two, I was really drawn into because of um, some races I saw a Cool Kid doing on Speedruns Live. He was doing some uh, Mega Man 2 races. And Seth Glass's old streams, uh, old timers will remember Seth Glass's streams very fondly. That was like one of the big streams that all the speedrunners congregated around back in the day. Um, so I was one of those people that really congregated around his stream and really loved it. So those two things really got me into Mega Man 2, and I actually got good at that game while I was traveling in Asia with my family, and I had a DS with an emulator loaded on it at the time. And the entire trip, I just was, like, safe state grinding Mega Man 2 and learning how all the zips worked. It's, like, a lot of work to figure out all the zips on my own because, like, you can't, like, the zips are, the inputs to do the zips are very non-intuitive, and you just really have to trial and error everything to figure out how they all work in that game. Yeah, that's what I would. I, that's why I enjoyed it when you used to stream a lot. I used to enjoy because I think you really, well, you're the first person that I saw that was like, it's not about the memes for you. It's not about <laughs> the hype stuff. It's about really, yeah. I want to make this game and I'm gonna just analyze everything about it. And I think that was really interesting for me. Yeah, um, and I'm sure it's interesting for a lot of other people too. Um, but I want to, I want to know. Like, it seems like you have a, you lean towards difficult games. And I was gonna, I was gonna guess that I think you kind of like the challenge but it sounds like maybe that's not true that's not a reason you choose a game no it for sure is one of the reasons um i think that this was kind of my philosophy back in the day when i was really heavily invested in speed running was that i wanted to be known for playing difficult games um but i didn't want to play so difficult a game uh like basically super metroid or super mario 64 what i'd have to play only that game like i wanted to play uh, a handful of different, uh, difficult, but different games, but not have to commit all my time to one game because I know that the top SM64 and super Metroid players play basically only seriously play that one game. And so I didn't want to be that kind of runner, but I wanted to be a runner that plays a lot of different, but difficult games. Okay. That makes sense. And you play, I think what I think is, has to be, and I'll ask your professional opinion, but I think gimmick has to be one of the hardest games to run out there. Yeah, uh, with so much 
so much goes into that game, and I, I'm glad speedrunning kind of brought that game into light a little bit more because I don't think anyone even talked about it before. <laughs> Speedrun kind of made it huge, but that's funny because Yig Drizzle, who some in the community will know, he um, sells Japanese games for a living on eBay and goes around to conventions now. Um, I think it was him who said recently that, or no, it was my, it was uh, it was Nair, not Yig Drizzle, but Yig Drizzle would say this as well probably. Um, they think that my AGDQ 2013 run was the primary reason that game shot up in price, and uh, I. <laughs> wouldn't disagree with them it when i bought that game i bought it complete in box the japanese version for 125 dollars and it now regularly fetches like 500 dollars. i think for my money that's the best if you take away the nostalgic glasses of all your zeldas and all your marios yeah i think that is the best made nes game there is i totally agree i think it is the best nes game yeah and just if you haven't watched a run of that game and it's even getting the times are getting lower because if people are discovering new and new it glitches with that game all the mm. time but if you anyone out there hasn't watched the run of that please watch it that's a game is just so intense and there's so much stuff you got to do it's like this every jump is, is is hard right yeah well i will say that to run it it looks it looks it looks harder and more impressive than i'd say it actually is but it definitely is still hard and it's a very reset heavy game because there are some difficult things right at the start like you know the star shot uh for the best ending run where you have to get to the first level treasure and that's a difficult star shot and if you miss that you have to reset right away um but beyond real-time runs which are great um the best ending task is one of my is one of my favorite tasks of all time and that's actually what got me interested in running it like um this was again my same friend who i was uh i looked at the shadow of the ninja run with and he exposed me to gimmick and so I knew about the game, and then I watched the task, and I was like, oh, my God, this task is mind-blowing. There's, like, so much stuff going on. He's, like, riding the star in all these cool ways. Like, this for sure has to be a great run. So um, I was messing around with it on emulator, and I was, like, figuring out all these tricks in real time. There were some Japanese runs that existed, but they were not very well optimized and not well routed. So I put in a ton of work, and um, HGDQ 2013 was the year I first played that game. And I really, really wanted to give it a solid showing because I knew this was this was the one chance to reveal to the world how amazing this game was. And so you can ask people who were at AGTQ 2013, but I was like deathly scared and serious and excited for my run. I was like drilling practice like you'd never seen. I was I was like not enjoying the marathon at all. I was just practicing like Link to the Past and Gimmick nonstop. Uh, up leading up to those runs and uh, i did have like one unfortunate death in that run but otherwise a lot of things went well and i was really happy and proud of what people thought of that run and how gimmick was seen after that run was over yeah that's i think that's definitely in my top 10 for sure because I, I mean for me though i never saw someone speed run the game I, I knew the game already but i never saw someone speed run. i was like oh my god this is yeah just watch it if you haven't watched it yeah uh, so would you say for you though is speed running more like is it about getting the world record for you or is it just about you know improving how you play it what's kind of what is your drive to to sp speed run a you know when you speed run a game this is, this is a very funny question for me right now because back in the day i i really was like about world record i, I really want a world record in any game i took seriously um nowadays it doesn't matter to me as much anymore um i did actually pick up Mega Man 2 again recently because i submitted um to play in the classic Mega Man Relay, which was a submission to AGDQ. And uh, hopefully that gets in, fingers crossed. And um, I really enjoyed all the past relays that have been GDQs, and I wanted to participate in one myself. So uh, I, I bought an EverDrive to be able to practice it, and I s started de-rusting it. But I don't really care that much about getting the record back. Like, I would like to, and I'll be trying to, but um, it's not like the driving force in my life like it used to be speedrunning used to be something and this is getting sort of into personal territory which is fine but it used to be sort of like a driving um a driving thing in my life that determined to some extent my self-esteem and um you know the break i took from speedrunning in the past few years helped me rebalance how i viewed myself and how i viewed uh, what I'm doing just in my life in general. And so I have other things going on, but I still really enjoy watching speedruns. Uh, I love all my friends in the community. 
And, um, you know, every now and then I do enjoy, you know, the safe state practice grind and doing runs and stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to try and beat my PB in Mega Man 2 and possibly go for world record, but it's not like the be all end all like it used to be several years ago. So that is that you think the main reason why you decided to kind of take a break or? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. 